Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about tantric sex and how to be a tantric lover for men, specifically for men. The topic for this video is 10 core attitudes that bring her to open up to you. So, I'm not sure if you have been in the past with a woman who was shutting down. It feels horrible, right? It feels like you cannot communicate or you cannot engage with that person. So, I'm going to give you some techniques here so that you get that woman to open up energetically, emotionally to you. And uh, right now we are talking much more about coupling or relationship dynamics so that you understand that there are certain pillars or certain qualities in the relationship that are going to create a deep bonded connection. You know, you want a woman to bond with you. If you want a woman to bond with you, if you're just casually having sex and engaging, that's fine. But if you are in the process of really creating a deep connection with that woman, then here are some qualities or some attitudes that are going to get her to open up to you. The first one, transparency. I'm just going to give you the list so that you get an, an overview, okay? Um, transparency, presence, honesty, prior, prioritizing her, consideration, energy, respect, safety, ambition, confidence. And then there is a whole more list, you know, you have so many of these qualities or values that you can bring into the relationship. There is responsiveness, vision, leadership, direction, sexual fire, flow, fire, ease, energetic frequency, and really getting her. So I'm just going to quickly look at a couple of those so that you understand that those are values. They are attitudes that when you embody them, they create collaboration, they create a deep opening of your energy bodies that are going to start resonating and vibrating together. So let's look at the first one, transparency. Transparency means that you're not holding back things. It's like if she's relating to you and she feels like you, there's a whole part of your life that you're not uh, sharing with her that's being non-transparent, right? It means that maybe you have other lovers or stories or a secret agenda. It means that if she wants, if you want her to open up to you, she needs to be able to trust you and so transparency is something that brings trust. So, you know, for instance, you reveal things about yourself. Hey, I'm broke. I don't have money right now. You know, she goes like, wow, here is somebody who is being honest with me. You know, for instance, that's an example. Or there is this girl, this ex-girlfriend who is going to come and visit in a couple of weeks. I just want you to know that this is happening. I don't want you to freak out. I'm not connecting with her, but I just want you to know that she's going to be around. You know, that's it. That's transparency presence. So this one is super important, you know, it's bringing the idea of, of being really present when you are with her. I already did another video on that, so I'm not going to, to go, go deeper in that. Prioritizing, it means that when you have the choice between doing something with her or with somebody else, you go like, no, honey, I'm going to prioritize you. It means that right now you are number one in my life. That's what it means, prioritizing. It means that this woman that you're talking to, she's number one. Guess how this is going to make her feel? She's going to be like, okay, I can relax. I don't have to be in competition with a dozen, half, uh, half a dozen other women in your field. You know, she knows that she's number one. Consideration. When you make choices, just realize that, you know, it will impact her. If you decide to leave on a trip or to buy a new house in a new city or change career or something like that, it's going to impact her. And so consider what your choice is going to be on your relationship and the connection that you have with her. Okay, this is consideration. Um, respect, energy, ambition, safety, you know, the idea of safety as well. It is that if you are somebody who is energetically, emotionally unstable, on the verge of sexual or physical or uh, emotional abuse, then that's of course, you know, something that she's going to feel threatened by and she's not going to be really be able to open up to you. So. The idea is this, is create safety. If you feel strong emotions coming to the surface, make sure that you're expressing that within a context that is safe, that she's warm, that she can receive it. You know, I'm really angry right now. <laughs> you know, you can still express it and voice it, but do it within a, within a way that is safe. Uh, the idea of flexibility is also a very important one. Anyway, you get the picture. There are those core qualities that you can anchor into the core of your relationship that are going to create deep bonded connection. It's an art. Make it happen. I'll see you soon for another video.